All right, now that the house is built, we gotta protect it from the elements, and that starts with the roof. So the roof is on the house. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this part of the process because it's the first time you get to see something kind of finished in the house. It's done. And you get to see like a really nice contrast between the wood structure and, yeah. and the roof. So it's not just like this one uniform thing. Right. But for the color, you didn't choose like a, a solid black or something like that. You, you chose something a little bit more with some more color in it. That's why I like this kind of a roof. It's got a couple different colors going on, so it doesn't make you think, oh my God, it's just all the same. This has got some variations from grays to browns to a couple different colors. So you can paint this house any color that you want, and if you want to change it in a couple years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, you can do that too, because this roof will go with it. So the same roof I put on my home. And this particular roof, you were saying, it's it's a, a, an upgraded. It's not something that you went nuts on, but you chose strategic upgrades on it. This is a 30-year roof. We put the ice and water the first six feet up on the house and put what they call a, a synthetic weather barrier above that all the way so the whole roof's covered by that. The synthetic roof is a roof that doesn't absorb moisture. 
the old 15 pound felt paper, you know, in the past it would absorb the moisture and it would get wet, dry, wet, dry, all of a sudden it's buckling and it's cracking and that's where people eventually could have a roof leak. This is a newer paper or a newer synthetic product. It's like a polymer, like a plastic. It's a newer product that's been around a couple of years and everybody's just going, this is, the, this is the right product to use. So another thing that you did, I know we were talking about was you were very specific about the type of venting you used and where you put it. Now, there are different choices, one of them being ridge vents. You chose these vents instead of that, why? In the past, I've tried to use ridge vents and I find that they're not squirrel proof or chipmunk proof because you can usually eat through them. I'm sure they make, there's 20 different kinds and I probably just haven't used it. But the main thing is I don't like the look of it because then you get this hump on the top of the roof with a little inch air gap in there. So it's just kind of a rain shield there. These are all aluminum. They're, they're animal proof, you don't have to worry about them. They vent right up at the top of the roof. But I still, when you come down the driveway, I don't want you to see that and every eye is drawn to that. I want you to look at everything else on the house and these are, it's a necessity, but it's not pretty. So let's put it in the back of the house. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, we have so much more to show you. So we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.